G'day and welcome to the uh, video on transformations using matrices. It's found in chapter uh, exercise 4.2 in your textbook um, and this is one of the I guess the newer parts of the course and they, they do love to um, ask some questions like this um, on the exam so you kind of do need to know this um, very very well. I'm not really going to go too much into the, the background knowledge for the matrices. Um, you don't, to be honest, you don't really need to understand um, all of this. I mean, it's helpful if you do, but um, I guess each year I sort of have to come back to the background knowledge. So, you know, what, how to name a, a matrix, um, you know, how to add matrices together and multiply. Um, you just really need to know that uh, well, the main the one that you need to know is, is this one here, because that's um, the one that we will uh, be looking at when we I'm transforming a graph. This one um, added to something like this, um, A, B. But um, you can read through that if you want to, and you can ask me questions if you, if you want to know a bit more about that. Um, but we won't look too much in the theory of matrices. So I'm just going to jump straight into transformations using uh, matrices. So this is a fairly standard type of question, or you know, standard uh, sort of um, format that um, the transformations using matrices questions come in. So, you know, it's just the transformation T, um, R squared to R squared. Um, we don't really understand that. It just means that, you know, there's two dimensions uh, to this. There's an X dimension and a Y dimension. Uh, it's sort of changed. Um, and we're saying that the new graph, uh, T, you know, X and Y, is uh, the old graph, X and Y, um, multiplied by a particular um, matrix and then you know there's also something added to the matrix as well um, and so for example um, you know the image of the curve y equals x squared when it goes through these transformations here will end up being this equation here our standard form um, that we've got so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore each of these different things um, and we're going to find out how they uh, relate to uh, transformations um, so um, I'm actually going to start with reflections um, purely because um, it, I think it's easier to see um, what happens with reflections. Dilation is a little bit trickier, but when we go um, and, and, and label each of the, the transformations, we always start with dilations first. Anyway, let's start with reflections just because it's easier to see. Here is the standard graph here. Um, this graph XY has been multiplied by um, the, the standard uh, like uh, they call this an identity matrix here. I'll write that down. Okay, and so what that means is that there will be no um, change to this graph whatsoever. So the new graph x dash y dash will be exactly the same as as the old graph because it's been multiplied by the identity matrix. If, however, we start changing some of these numbers in here, it will change the graph. So. The first one I'm going to show is uh, this one here, where that number there is negative one. Um, if we are, if we multiply this by negative one, it ends up being x and negative y, which is a reflection in the x-axis. And there's two ways to prove this kind of uh, thing. One of them using algebra, and then the other one um, using, uh, I guess, uh, you know, reflecting the actual point. Let me just show you using algebra first. I think this is in your notes. Mine have got all the answers in there as well, which is kind of helpful. So I'm going to get this new graph, x dash, y dash, is going to be equal to the old graph multiplied by, uh, sorry, the old graph there multiplied by this transition matrix. And this is the reflection in the x. And when we multiply the matrix, um, this is the background knowledge um, from before. It's 1 multiplied by x plus 0 multiplied by y will equal this uh, number here, you know, this, which is x, okay? And for the, the, the one down the bottom, 0 multiplied by x, which is 0, and negative 1 multiplied by y is negative y, okay? That's what I've shown up here, and that's that's what you, that's really all you need to know in terms of uh, the background of matrices. So, um, if you want to find out uh, how to multiply the matrices, it's the top row multiplied by the column. So one times A and two times B um, is up the top, and then three times A and four times uh, B added together um, will give you the next one. So, <coughs> excuse me, that's uh, that's how we do this one here. So there, therefore, we can say that the old graph, so the new graph x dash is equal to x. So basically, the x values stay the same, 
and but y y dash the, the new y values are going to be negative y so um, the same y values as before but now they're negative let's apply it to a standard graph of say y equals x squared we know that y dash equals negative y so I'm going to rearrange that to be y equals negative y dash uh, just you know just rearranging that equation and this one here I didn't really need to rearrange at all just swap them so y equals negative y dash and x equals x dash so I put I replace y now with negative y dash and I replace x with x dash and I end up getting this here negative y dash equals x dash squared and then that becomes you know divide both both sides by negative one that becomes that and this if we remember from our transformations um, notes from earlier that is a reflection in the x-axis okay so when we change this one here to a negative value that will give us a reflection in the x-axis and that's the proof um, you can also prove it graphically um, if, if we use one particular point because you don't always have to transform a graph you can actually just transform one particular point and in fact transforming a graph is actually transforming thousands and thousands of points or an infinite number of points but we're just going to apply it to one point now so if our new graph is going to be x and negative y and our original point was 2 4 the original point is now going to become 2 negative 4 because all the y values are negative so this point was up here 2 4 but after the transformation of, of that um, uh, of this matrix um, 1 0 0 negative 1 after that transformation it becomes 2 negative 4 okay so ref again reflection in the x-axis that's another way of looking at the same sort of thing the next thing we'll have a look at is the reflection in the y-axis so this now we're going to leave this one as uh, still as the one and we're going to make this one negative one so again when I multiply this out um, negative one times x plus zero times y is just negative x and zero times x plus one times y is just y this one I'm telling you is going to be a reflection in the y-axis let's have a look at exactly how that works so our new x value and our new y value is going to be negative x and y so x dash our new y x values equal negative x so the, the old x values but they're now negative and the y values stay the same on the new graph let's use this example um, y equals natural log e now this one might be a little bit tricky for you guys um, i think in your notes you have log 2 e uh, log 2 of x it's exactly the same thing we, we introduce e a little bit later in, in the course um, l let me just make it log 2 just to make things a little bit better um, it's, it's exactly the same thing though um, so y equals y dash um, the, the y values don't change and x just rearrange that equation there x becomes negative x dash now I substitute those in just like I did before y dash doesn't you know is no different but this time I replace x with negative x dash that means that, that is what I get there and remembering from our previous uh, um, notes that is now a reflection in the, the y um, axis okay anytime the negatives are inside the brackets reflection in the y-axis okay again graphically we can use the same point of uh, 2 4 and when we now when we uh, multiply this matrix by that uh, by that number by, by that matrix there we end up getting negative 2 and 4 so instead of being on this side it's now on this side which is again a reflection in the in the y-axis in this case Okay. Now there is one other type of reflection that you may see. I haven't really seen a lot of this in exam um, exams in the past, but but it is helpful to know. Usually, um, you know, we play around with the identity matrix, which is um, this one here, one one zero zero. And uh, what we'll do is we'll play around with these numbers here and make these numbers different, negative uh, um, whole numbers, um, you know, uh, positive and negative numbers, and all sorts of different things. But you can't, and, and usually we leave these ones as zero because otherwise you get an X and a Y in the same thing and it becomes very complicated but you can actually multiply it by this um, matrix here where these ones are zero and these ones are one this one is actually called the inverse 
Um, if you do that, notice how the x and the y values actually swap because it's 0 times x and you know 1 times y is just y and 1 times x, 0 times y um, gives you x. So these ones, the x and the y values swap, so that's actually a reflection in the line y equals x, which is an inverse graph. Um, I don't think I'll go through that um, example, although you can have a look at it yourself. Um, I'll just keep moving and do the next one. <coughs> there is the summary though, um, if, if you've got these uh, different things um, applying to a graph. Now I'm going to have a look at dilations. Um, dilations, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this n number here. I'm going to change that to an A instead of a 1. And when we do, when we multiply this out, it's, you know, 1 times X plus 0 times Y is X and 0 times A, uh, sorry, 0 times X plus A times Y is AY. Now I'm going to tell you that that's a dilation of a factor of A from the X axis. We'll have a look at that. Um, you know, again, the, the new x values are just x, the, the old x values. The new y values are actually a times y, and a is just some uh, random constant. So, x dash equals a, x, and y dash equals a, y. I'm going to apply it to this graph here, y equals x cubed. So, the old x values don't change. The new, the new y values, just rearranging that equation there, because I have to substitute y equals, I can't substitute the new y values. That becomes 1 on a y dash. Putting that into the equation here and then multiplying both sides by a, you can see that we get a multiplied by x dash cubed. Now that there, remembering from before, is a dilation from the x-axis by a factor of a. Okay, so whenever you know we, we change this value here, it becomes a dilation from the x-axis. Um, we'll, we'll look at the next one now, if we change this number. I've changed it to, to 1 on B. Um, uh, there's a reason I'll do that, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit later. It just gets a bit confusing. Um, d this is, uh, you know, I if we multiply all this out, 1 on B times X, you know, is 1 on BX, and, you know, uh, 1 times Y is Y, that's going to be a dilation by a factor of 1 on B from the Y um, axis. So. Um, the language here, um, dilation by factor of 1 on B, means that that one is, uh, the, the number there is 1 on B. So if that was the number 2, then it would be a dilation of by a factor of 2 from the y-axis. If that was 5, it would be 5 from the y-axis. Um, it can get a little bit confusing with the 1 on B stuff um, uh, from our normal trans transformations. But just go with me on this one. Again, proving it to you using algebra. Um, our new x values are going to be 1 on b multiplied by our old x values. So I get this. I rearrange that equation to get x equals b times x dash and y dash equals y, the old y values. I'm going to apply this now to a sine graph and we see this here. You know, the new y values are sine of b times the old um, y values. And remembering this is where it gets kind of a little bit tricky. If you've got a b times x, then the way that we use that language or the way that we describe that is actually dilation by a factor of 1 on B from the Y axis. Okay, so whatever's in the matrix, that's um, the language that we use as well. That's all we've got time for for this uh, video clip um, and tune into the next one for the translations and also adding a couple of different um, transformations to uh, these kinds of graphs as well.